this next guest is not terrible at golf. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> we are here with Amira Smiley from Transylvania University, who is a golfer. Thanks for being with us, Amira. Thank you for having me. So, Amira, we know you've come from a little bit of hardship, right? right? So tell us a little bit about your story and how you got into golf. Yeah, so starting out, um, growing up, my parents both struggled with drug addiction. Um, so that was kind of hard on me. Both my sister and I lived with my grandmother growing up. And I started out playing basketball, actually. I did not play golf at all. My dad tried to get me to start in it when I was like two or three, and I just did not pick it up. Um, but after my freshman year of high school, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll try out golf. Basketball wasn't really fun for me anymore, so I started to play. Um, and then from there, kind of just took off, fell in love with the game, and um, got an offer to play at Transylvania, and that's what I did. You, you fell in love with the game. That's what so many people say, because you get out there and you play and you hit a bad shot and hit maybe five or six in a row and then you hit that good one. Right. And then everything, the, your world just changes, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. I've, I've experienced that plenty of times, having a bad round and then you just make a long putt or you hit a great shot and it just, yeah, the round's better. So, so, so the inspiration to, to, to stick with golf, is it's that feeling and that you're out there all by yourself, but you're, you're taking on the world, aren't you? Exactly. I mean, you can do anything. It's an individual sport. You don't need a team, really. I mean, it's it's your score that you shoot. And um, also just the integrity is kind of something that I really love. Like, you're in charge of what you do and being truthful and stuff like that. So I enjoy that a lot. I mean, you have a lot of integrity and you're a phenomenal golfer as well as giving back. So I know you work with First Tee. So tell us a little bit about First Tee and a lot of the volunteer opportunities that you're taking uh, part in. Right, so first tee, um, my high school coach Kevin Mims actually started it here in Lexington. And so he offered for me to come out and help and, you know, help teach kids golf and stuff like that. And so I did that and I absolutely just loved it. I love coaching. Um, I've coached basketball before at the Woodhill Community Center. Um, I volunteer with Urban Impact, who's they're also a part of the Woodhill Community Center and the Lexington Leadership Foundation. So I kind of just try to give back in any way that I can with anything I'm passionate about, whether that's golf or basketball or just being with kids. And, and golf has been a, a great platform for you to, to, to spread your message and, and to talk about where you come from, right? Yeah, exactly. So recently I just did an article with the PGA Tour with um, Doug, who you all just talked to recently, and that really gave me a, an opportunity to tell my story, not just to people that I talk to every day, but people that don't know me or, or what I've been through. And I always say, like, when people ask me about telling my story, me being able to tell my story is a way for me to either show kids who've been through similar things as me, like, you're not alone, you can do this and come out better on the other side, um, as well as maybe inspiring people to, to give back to their community and helping out kids that might be in similar situations to myself. Yeah, you're really showing that golf is more than just a game. What is the most rewarding thing you get out of being on that green? Um, probably just the gratification and, and knowing that like I've worked this hard to get here and, and I'm s succeeding in what I'm trying to do. So I'd say that's that's really important to me. What's your best round you've ever shot? <laughs> Practicing by myself a 78, but I don't keep my score that much when I practice by myself. Um, in a tournament, I was telling Doug, I, I uh, this past spring was four over going into 18, so I was going to shoot a 76, and I was like, oh, this is great, I'm going to do this. Ended up getting into some trouble on the last hole. I got a quad, and I shot an 80, but that's still my lowest <laughs> round. <is> okay. <laughs> way better than way my better best than round. <laughs> way better than me. Uh, now, what is some of your goals? Is your goal to go pro, and then what are some of your goals inside the sport and outside the sport? Um... I, I would love to play golf as long as, as I can and see wherever it'll take me. Um, I'll practice as hard as I can for as long as I can until something else comes along. Outside of golf right now, um, I'm studying biochemistry. And with that, I'm trying to be a pilot in the military. That's that's what I want to do. So whichever comes first, whatever happens, I'll just see what comes my way. Well, you've got options, that's yeah, for definitely. sure. What do you think about being out here in, in this pro professional setting? I mean, isn't this the coolest thing ever? Yeah, it's awesome. I had never, before the Bar Barbasol came here, I had never experienced a pro tournament besides just watching it on TV. And actually being able to see like what ha like what takes part in, in putting this together is awesome. And just watching the pros play, it, it's unreal to watch how they play. So. What are, who are some of your favorite pros, and are you watching anybody that's here at this tournament? My favorite pros, I'm always a Tiger fan, yeah. for sure. Um, <laughs> Forever. <laughs> who couldn't be? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth, I love to watch them play. Um, out here, Teeter, you got to watch the home, home guy, so that's who I'm excited to see. 
and we hope that we hope Teeter you know moves right on up the scoreboard. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm allowed to say that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of we course. Can, we can root for, for the home team. I told you all. He saved me in that scramble that <laughs> he one did day. Save so you in that, that scramble. Mean, that means a lot. <laughs> so we appreciate you stopping by and Thank hanging you. out here with us for just a few minutes because we know that you're busy out here, you know, and, and taking in all the fun and games, right? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, and we love your mission. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Amira. <laughs>